Oh my god, where do I begin? Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews. I'm your host, John Maffio, and today's featured film is Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice. This is the latest release by director Zack Snyder, and it stars a plethora of actors including Ben Affleck, Henry Cavill, Amy Adams, Lawrence Fishburne, Gal Gadot, um, 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 Jesse Eisenberg, um, 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 like, it, the list goes on and on. Now, the story is basically, not to get into spoilers, but it's about the conflict between Batman and Superman. In the last movie, Man of Steel, Metropolis was decimated. Basically, Batman sees this peril, and he basically sees Superman as a threat to the human race, because if this happened in this one incident, what could happen in the future? So, this whole movie is about the conflict between them, and also the setting up of a little thing called the Justice League, because... DC's gotta catch up with Marvel, you know? Coming out of it, I really liked it. I liked it a lot. But, there's a big but though. The filmmaking, the actual pacing, the screenplay, the story elements of the film, oh, they're flawed. The filmmaking visually is outstanding. You cannot fault the visual storytelling going on because it's so beautiful. Some of the imagery is, you know, beyond um, awe-inspiring, but the actual story going on, the plot, the way it's edited, things that happen in the movie, some of it just doesn't make sense. It's just told in such an out-of-order way that people who don't really care about DC Comics general audiences may be totally jarred by the whole thing, and I'm just, I wasn't a fan of how the story was told. Execution was, in moments, flat-out terrible, but Having said that, I really did enjoy the movie. I was entertained by the movie, and there were parts of the movie that I flippin' loved. You don't really hear the word shocking when it comes to movies, but we, we, we are talking about Zack Schneider and DC. They're trying to be different. Some things happen in the story that really did shock me. One of the biggest worries from the very beginning was that this movie was trying to bite off more than they could chew, and it certainly does. There's a lot going on in the movie. It's trying to do a lot of things in two and a half hours. I understand why the film is as long as it is, and I understand why they're trying to throw so much in within that runtime, but you could have had a much more focused movie if you took out some things and focused on other things. But again, spoilers, I can't talk about them, but let's get into the casting first. Henry Cavill. I like him as Superman. He's really good. Was some of his dialogue kind of wooden? Yeah, but I've, I'm totally bought into the character, and he has a lot of really good moments in the movie. I'm a fan of what they did with his character, judging from a world standpoint, how they view him in both negative and positive light. Ben Affleck as Batman is a revelation. He is the best thing to come out of this movie. He plays the playboy side of Bruce Wayne extremely well, and he also plays the Batman side extremely brutal and violently, and I loved him so much. Alfred 2, played by Jeremy Irons, is flat out awesome. I can't say enough good things about the Batman side of this movie. Then we get into Wonder Woman, played by Gal Gadot, and I was the most scared about her. And to tell you the truth, they played her character well. They set her up wisely, and they actually, you know what, I bought into her. She's great as the character. Gal Gadot is really sexy. And um, I think Diana Prince should be sexy, but she also has to have that, you know, that manly side, the side that just kicks ass, and she certainly kicks ass. But the acting from Gal Gadot is surprisingly really well done. Everybody else gives a good performance, but the last one I'm going to mention is Jesse Eisenberg, who plays Lex Luthor. Now, this is the one performance where I could definitely see subjective views one way or the other. You might think he's terrible, you might think he's really good, and I'm on the side that falls that he's really good. I really, I really enjoyed Jesse Eisenberg's portrayal of Lex Luthor. He plays it a little over the top and a little kooky, yes, but he commits to it, and the actions that he actually goes through with in the film were quite something, to say the least. Some really interesting things happen involving, you know, the future and this league of extraordinary gentlemen who are going to team up next year in battle, and, um... The execution of seeing a lot of these characters, really awesome. I'm really digging the style they're going for with these characters, and I can't wait to see more of them. The execution of how they are thrown into the movie, I hate it. 
I was a fan of what I was watching, but I'm like, this doesn't make sense for the context of what's going on in the movie. It, does, it doesn't need to be here. Despite feeling really positive about Wonder Woman and Justice League and the, the future references, all the DC references, all that bullshit, I was a fan of all of it. It just didn't serve a purpose well of being inserted in this movie. A lot of scenes just happen, will go from one scene to the next scene, there'll be no transitions. There are barely any segues from scene to scene. Not to compare it to other blockbusters, but when you have a two and a half hour movie, you want to have a pace going, you want to have a flow so that the two and a half hours feels very progressive and maybe not fast paced, depends on what kind of movie you're making, but you want it to feel smooth. There's no smooth transitions in this movie at all, for the most part. Most of the transitions, at least from my opinion on the first viewing, felt really rough. It's kind of like imagining watching a movie where you see a couple buying a couple burgers at Shake Shack, right? And they're having a conversation about how their relationship is going. And then you'll go from that to a scene of a lumberjack, you know, knocking down a tree and going like, man, I hate my job. And then we'll go from that to a scene of the girlfriend's mother talking to some hippie in the subway. It's kind of like that, where it's like, you don't understand what's completely going on because there's no connection between scenes. You're supposed to basically run with what's going on. I admired them a little bit for just letting dialogue happen and not explain it, but you have to have some explanation for a lot of things in order for the movie to make sense. But because they don't, a lot of it doesn't make sense. So if you're an average moviegoer, going back to that, you're going to see certain things unfold on screen and you're going to be like, huh? Huh? What? Um. Mm. Huh? But Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice, it's an entertaining movie. It's got a lot of great moments. There was such a good movie in here. If there was more focus, the problem lies in the pacing, the editing, and just the filmmaking in general. It just isn't a well-made movie when it comes to that. Visually, it's one of the most spectacular movies you're going to see in a long time, but everything else is kind of a mess. I did really enjoy it, though. I can't wait for the future. I'm excited for Wonder Woman. I'm excited for Aquaman, Cyborg, the Justice League Part 1 and 2. I'm excited for all of that, the Flash, everything. But this movie, on its own, merits, just doesn't fully measure up. However, if you're a DC fan, if you're a fan of superheroes, if you want to see something that you're not going to forget, see the movie. Because it's going to cause a lot of discussion and a controversy for months, maybe years to come. I'm going to give Batman vs Superman a 3 out of 5. It's a full course Applebee's meal. I say check it out. But now I want to know from you guys. What did you think of this film? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't talk spoilers. If you're going to talk spoilers, please um, you know, give a little warning first. But let's have a little discussion. There's a lot to talk about. Too much to talk about. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and keep a lookout on my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter accounts that are in the info box because I will be doing a spoiler podcast on this and there's a lot to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm John Mafio, a.k.a. Mafman Jones, and I'll see you guys next time.